I'm going to set them in place. And once I've done that, I'm going to very roughly line them up. And when I've got them roughly lined up, I'm going to snug them down a bit. Not so tight that I can't still adjust them because I need to make my final adjustment. And I'll be doing that with the T-bar. Okay, get the T-bar. Here's the T-bar, uh, pointing out the AC settings and that it's the 716 standard setting for the AFG. Here's checking the, first was checking the height and the forward and this is checking the gap between the electrodes. And it's not quite where I want it yet. So I'm making some small adjustments. See how I'm holding the electrodes ahead of the electrode holder? Stabilizes it, recheck the gap and the distance forward and dis the height from the nozzle orifice to the tips. Hits on the AC hatch marks. I always have my thumb over the oil tube because I don't want to drip oil. And a little bit of a twist. Get it in line, and in it goes. So missing is the escutcheon plate, which I'm going to install. The escutcheon plate allows for adjustment of the Z dimension. The Z dimension is important because it is the distance the nozzle is away from the head of the retention, the retention head. If you get that wrong, you're going to run into impingement problems right on the head. This is something, if you get an assembled burner right out of the box, before you mount it on a furnace, you're going to want to check the Z dimension as well as the ignition setup. You wouldn't ever trust factory setup. You want to check it for yourself. And a thumb screw to tighten it down. 